Good, good, good. Morning. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Fellow city of Dallas, Texas. Morning. Nice to finally meet you. <laughs> let's get it on. Let's get it on. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right guys. Here in the beautiful city, Dallas, Texas. Texas. Back in the truck, fellas. It is pouring. Just in time. Just in time. Uh, yeah. Before we got this rain, rain. rain. All right, guys. We'll see you in a bit. Check, 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 check. check. Mike, check. He was a butthead or something, you know, man. Lip, 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 slog here. Yo, what's up, fellas? It's your boy Marby with Eclipse Market here in the beautiful city of Dallas, Texas, guys. It is flower bed Friday. I got the boys over here knocking this flower bed right behind me as y'all guys can see. We got old Duckster, Bahama Doug, Buster Douglas, Dougie Fresh, the Doug man, Nancy and Doug, Dirty Dougie Doug, and, the funky bun. and right here guys, we got Mr. Robertson. I didn't do it. You too. <laughs> I'm not a thief. I'm not a crook. Love me as much as I love y'all. All right, get back in the bush. <laughs> get back to hide, brother. He's a guy who tried to steal baby cakes the other day. Run. But you know what? We went ahead and gave him a job with me so he could start earning money the right way and not jacking people up. That being said, here's a new crew, two live crew right here. Hey man. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is the two live crew. All right, he's back in the bush. All right, guys, let's uh, get a wide shot and see what we got going on. Wrong wide shot. Like I mentioned, this is flower bed Friday. We've done nothing but flower beds all day. Yeah. All day long. It's about 4.30. We're still doing flower beds because it is flower bed Friday. What are you using right there, Mr. Robinson? I am using the DTA 26 steel hand printer. Working out great. I'm using it for all the hefty stems and stuff out of there. And got to get the hedge trimmers out and go to work. Hey, get some toys. Here, Doug. Nah, I'm good. I got, I got the, the 2000s here, man. Let's go ahead and take a look at the flower bed and see what we're working with real quick. Pull or weedy, we're gonna weed eat most of this stuff, guys. So we are in snake country. There's a lake down that way, and there's a lake or a pond down that way. And it's about that time where uh, water moccasins, water snakes, start coming, uh, trying to look for some food, I guess, over in this part. But look at all the mess, the debris. Doug's pulling the, uh, what do you call these again? What do you call this? Creepers. 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 Yep. So we got Mr. Robertson using the battery operated hedge trimmer. He's using the HSA 66 battery operated. We've knocked out, we've done three big uh, shrub jobs today. Same battery, very quiet, not loud. Let's go ahead and watch them in action. We're gonna go ahead and check out the progress so far. It's been, I don't know, about 30, 40 minutes. We got the uh, creeper over going up that spout. We got that taken away. We have the uh, the rose bushes there. They haven't been touched yet. We got Mr. Robertson on the battery powered steel hedge trimmers. What do y'all think about it, guys? We've been using that all day, nonstop, nothing but shrubs, and it's still going without any charge. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at Mr. Robertson's work. Yeah. 
Doug must have been over there BSing you again. You're sneezing. <laughs> All right, guys, wanted to give y'all the aftermath real quick. Robertson, Dougie Doug, Dougie Fresh, knocked out these shrubs. We did a just a basic cleanup. Uh oh, forgot to pick up some debris over here, but I'll get it here in a bit. But let me give y'all a little close up view. Here's Shirley pruning this uh, pr uh, crepe myrtle at the bottom. It looks clean, guys. It looks clean. Ooh, man, look at these. Look at that. All of you guys can feel that. Man. Bam. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. So we tamed this jungle that was over here. Knocked out the rose bushes over there. Trimmed up the sucker branches from the great myrtle. And look at the boys, man. They're ready to go home. Look at them. Already in the truck. Ready to go. There you have it, guys. Bam! All right, let's get out of here. And uh, we'll see y'all back at home. All right, so we're done with that flower bed cleanup. I want to get Mr. Robertson's uh, honest review on the steel HS66. Honestly, it's a decent machine, man. It's not for everybody because you're going to have people out that are going to say, I've been using a gas one forever and they never let me down and they do everything and they're great but at the same time these things if you're looking for a lightweight plenty of power can cut anything it can fit between the teeth kind of power it's got it it lasts all day I mean I think I used a quarter of the battery today doing three jobs back to back plus it had power from a recent job still left in it and it still has half a battery power still left in it as very little vibration my hands didn't get tired or weak holding it from all the vibration my shoulders my elbows everything seems still good the other ones just get really 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 heavy after so long and these just kind of seem like they work pretty dang good and they're really light. They last, they're good, not for everybody. Gas, electric, everybody has their thing, but for anybody in the market for an electric battery powered hedge trimmer, this is definitely the way to go. Gets in nice tight areas, runs real smooth. Safeties are in good places. I've dealt with other ones that had a pullback safety on the handle made by steel. And sometimes that wasn't good when you get in tight spots because you're sitting there fighting, hitting things and it's constantly turning them off. This seems to work a lot better because you can just keep a grip on it and they stay running. I mean, it's just a all around great battery powered hedge trimmer. If you're in the market for one, that's the way to go. <laughs> I had to tell him, put, his, put your shirt back on, man. As usual, man, as usual. Doug put gets home and that's the first thing he wants to do is get undressed. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and well, thank you to all the uh, homies over here. <laughs> he ain't doing it. Oh. Boom. There you go. <laughs> we got old Mr. Robertson. Boom. Knocking it out too, man. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.